always tighten the hose clamps back up because they will fall into the bilge. Not that I've learned from personal experience or anything. This is the cooling hose, cooling water injection point, I should say. the entire two cockpit lockers out and um, I am trying to fix the exhaust leaks. Hi. Hello. You can see behind me on the dock there is the uh, the culprit and then on the side deck you see the other culprit right there. I have two exhaust leaks. One is in the flex pipe that I just replaced in St. Augustine and but it was prior to putting the new motor mounts on so i think i might have shot myself in the foot with that one um so i have some high heat tin like metal tape for hvac and i'm going to try and uh, stop the little leak of carbon from getting soot in our boat um and then the other one is i am uh on the weld on the bottom of this canister I'm trying to uh, clean it up so I can put a B to JB weld the whole way around. That's the plan. Okay, so um, I clean this up as much as I'm gonna be able to. The whole way around, there's my old JB weld that held. That is not leaking. I'm gonna put another layer of JB weld around that. So you can see how I cleaned up this weld in here really good. And it's all cleaned off with alcohol and, and hope that that patches it up enough that we'll be fine until uh, I can get rid of this thing. Okay, so I'm not going to touch this for a little while now. I have a fillet that is uh, pretty even the whole way around. I'll show you. And what I'm going to do is once it starts setting up just a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of soap on my gloved hand and I'm going to smooth it out. And that just kind of is in case the texture, say if one of these little indents is a thin spot that could you know be compromised or if there's like somehow an air bubble close to the surface somewhere could cause a problem so i'm gonna leave this like this for a while and then i'll come back and finish it off 
while this is drying, I have to address this. So this flex pipe is necessary and I can't use a wet exhaust hose because this is a dry part of the exhaust. So these are fairly smooth flanges where this is pressed into. I have some high heat HVAC tape. It can go up to about, it's metal tape. It can go up to about 250 degrees. I think that it will be able to withstand this and it's metal, it's not like it can catch fire or anything. So I'm going to clean these flanges off. I'm actually going to clean the whole thing. And I'm going to put some tape, layers of tape. This is the real reason why our plans are changing, because I need to redesign this entire system. And uh, I have an idea for the redesign. It'll get rid of all of this rigid, hot exhaust. It'll get rid of the flex pipe. It'll get rid of this thing and it's gonna all be with a fiberglass water lift muffler and a traditional gooseneck off of the uh, manifold. That way, if anything starts leaking, I'll be, uh, it'll be more noticeable. Um, I'll be able to find where it might be leaking from easier with this smooth surface. This is the board that the exhaust cylinder mounts onto. And my friend Andre from Trio had a really good idea. I cut some eighth inch rubber and so now instead of the stainless brackets sitting up against this wood, uh, more rigid now this rubber is going to have a little bit of shock absorption because this the tape that I taped the flex pipe With did make the flex pipe a little more rigid, but it is still flexible. I'm gonna put all this back together I'm Not gonna bother filming this part because well I'll just let you guys know how it turns out Hey everyone, I'm Parker and I'm Katie and this is our boat, Sea Wind. I bought Sea Wind in 2016 with my entire savings and no clue what it would take to turn her into what she is today. With the help of my dad and a few friends, I slowly tackled project after project, transforming this old boat into what I envisioned when we first met. Halfway through this five and a half year project, I met Katie and we've been inseparable ever since. In truth, this only shows a fraction of what it really took in order to get to where we're at today in a beautiful anchorage, making this video. Together, we have come a long way. We have learned the beautiful and brutal lessons that the water has to offer. We have come to know heartache and loss and to dance despite it all. I work a full-time job on the go, which presents its own unique challenges and opportunities. But at the end of the day, it's our desire to move slowly and live fully that makes it all worth it. Sailing Sea Wind is our unique attempt at showing how we choose to live with a lighter carbon footprint how we plan to make our mark on this ever-changing world. It's a place for us to show that every one of us is connected and that we will all go further together. Staniel Key and the surrounding islands and anchorages is easily one of our favorite areas visited in the Bahamas. The Yacht Club is a beautifully kept place with stunning views and great people. We watched cruising boats sail in and out of the harbor met people and listened to their unique stories over beers at the liquor mat, and wrote our own story with each day that passed. Our time in the Exumas, though, was coming to an end. Katie and I felt that our first season of living and cruising full-time was a smashing success. We felt the need to rest, visit family, fix some issues like the exhaust, and make a few more upgrades to our floating home. 
After lots of thought and conversation, Trio and Seawind decided it was a good time to start our journey back to the United States. Now this wouldn't come without adventure, because traveling by sailboat is slow, and every moment proves to be its own epic in the making. We were excited to see some of the areas we have now come to know, with a little more knowledge of how best to navigate these waters. The first step before leaving the dock was provisioning, and Staniel Key was a great place to do so. do at the grocery store. Good, got a lot of fresh stuff. Yeah, like all fresh stuff. All fresh stuff. So on the island here there are two, well actually three, but two main grocery stores. One is called the Pink Store and the other is called the Blue Store. We went to both. Today was their delivery day so we got like basically first pickings of all the fresh veggies. We got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Did you get some mangoes? Yeah. Awesome. So we've showered. We are so clean. In the boat, of course, we have a wonderful shower set up in the, in the head. And we are getting ready to go on a fancy dinner date with Andre and Janice from Trio. Katie looks so beautiful. She has makeup on. She's back here getting ready. Look at you. Oh my gosh. You're so gorgeous. Thank you. When's the last time you wore makeup? Three months. Three months ago, you think? Yeah. Well, you are stunning in all the ways, even when you don't wear makeup for three months. And your legs are hairy and everything. Extra flyer. Uh-huh. Shave legs and makeup just are like bonuses. <laughs> they're, they're the bonus, they're like bonus moments. Yeah. All right, let me see, you gotta show me. Well, I gotta put my clothes on. Just let me see. Oh, look at you. Kinda nervous about. Oh. You wanna get a, like a little piece of Dyneema and just tie it on either side? Put a couple holes, tie your oh, shoulders up? Hey, there you go. And Dyneema now. Perfect. Oh, that's better. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Now I have to figure out what I'm gonna wear. And I'll probably just put my hair up because we laid down and watched the rest of the Boeing documentary, which was really crazy. And I had wet hair and so now half of it's curled and half of it's uh, straight. <laughs> so that's all right. The only way I wear my hair is up, so. I should probably just cut it off. No. Maybe I should ask our viewers if I should cut my hair off. And then, and then like... Put a poll on Patreon. Yeah, I'll have to put a pool, a poll. A pool. What do you think? I guess uh, this will be my first question on camera for our YouTube viewers. Should I cut my hair or should I leave it long? What do you think, Katie? You kind of leave part of it long. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. Get ready. Okay. Get ready. All right. All right. All right. Ta-da! He is, is styling. Now you look fantastic, Snowy. You're welcome. Come on. We'll be out one second pulling Parker's hair up. No. We're the only boat that's small enough to go below the dock. There you go. 
Yeah. Perfect. We're good? Yeah, perfect. All right. Cool. We're good. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Right here? No, over here. Yeah, just look really nice walking. Yeah, no, 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 come here. Over here. Yeah, stand right there. Well, today's the day we're getting off the dock here at Staniel Key. Um, I just started up the engine. Boy, I look scruffy. I need a shave. Um, and so far it is, I mean, I can't believe how much more quiet, how we didn't even notice how loud the exhaust was, especially in the cockpit lockers. Um, so at least for now, the tape and the JB weld has sealed up all of our exhaust leaks. Uh, I'm going to be monitoring it very closely. And we have to thread our way through here, and we're facing this way. So this is going to be a bit of a production to get us off the dock here. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so you, yeah, you have it now. Yeah, I got the start. We're going to drop this starboard bow first and the springs and then hopefully the wind and he is going to just start pulling the boat over. Hi Joe! Oh, I got another one. You get that stuff down in the boat. Okay. 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 What's your name? Okay, it's not does. We can clear. Our, our arc is clear there with our bow. Okay, cool. Alright, Sante, you can go and start pulling her over. I would start uh, giving me a little slack on your right one, on the, yeah. Okay, I think your monitor's getting clear. Yeah. Okay, I'll pull around. Yeah, and hold this now a little bit, yeah, exactly, work those two. You could probably let go of this one now. I can, I can get it, I can get it. Alright, I'm going to give it a little bit of a forward, and if you can just hold that, and then we should be able to pivot, okay? Yep. I'm just going to bump it.
beautiful boat. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> what kind of, what, what is it? Oh, look it up. Cool. Ocean future. Yeah. All right. We are back on anchor. How's it feel, my love? Look at me. How do you? Katie uh, paid out the chain and we backed down on it. Really good job. Exit was absolutely wonderful. No? He had a lot of nice people coming. Yeah. At the end of the day, whether we are heading towards home or further away, we count our lucky stars knowing that we are part of a community, the cruising community, that is filled with people who are always willing to lend a helping hand. Making the decision to begin our trek north was most definitely not easy, but we take comfort in the fact that we will return to such an awesome group of people when we're ready. After all, the adventure is only beginning. Mm -hmm.